Hey everybody, it's Josh. Before we get started on today's video, really important that we talk about NordVPN. Protect your internet privacy by using Nord. I use Nord every day. You guys, I talk about it a lot. It's really important to me. Just look during COVID. How much crap have you bought online that you didn't need? You needed it, but you didn't need it. All that, all your internet browsing, everything you purchase and everything you look for, everything you think shows up in your timeline. You're directly targeted by advertising. When you use a NordVPN, your privacy is safe. So you know what? I love them because the people at Nord don't eat raisins and that's really important to me. The reason I use Nord because it's so easy to use. They got servers all over the world. Basically what it does is it takes your little computer address, your IP address, your computer has one, and it puts it somewhere else. So you're like a ninja. You're literally an internet ninja. Do not let big government, big tech, and everybody have your data. Why are you giving it away for free? Don't give that up for free. So protect it, protect it. We've got a deal for you. Head over to nordvpn.com slash the dad challenge. Use the code the dad challenge and get a two year plan with a huge discount plus one month free. It's like, it's a no brainer. It's really affordable. And don't forget, it works on up to six devices inside your house. Tablets, phones, computers, laptops, calculators. I don't know if it works on calculators, but it definitely does the trick, right? And if you want more information, just head over to the NordVPN YouTube channel. The link is below. It's the pinned comment. It's right below here in the description. Check them out, guys. I like Nord, they like me, we team up, and I've been using them for years and years, so trust me. You don't have to trust me, but trust me. Go get it, tell them I sent you, and I'd really appreciate it. That's how you support me too, and that's really great. So let's get to this freaking video. Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name is Josh. Today, it's gonna get crazy. I've been looking at this family for a very long time. Let me sure. Okay. I've been looking at this family for a very long time. And I've just been kind of researching and figuring out how I'm going to say this, how I'm going to talk about it. Um, and now it's come time because I need something to talk about. So that's what we're going to do today. Sam and Nia, we are talking about them today. Yeah. This story is crazy. So many facets of wrongdoing and this facade of Christianity that you know pisses me off. So we're going to get into it a little bit today. We're going to talk about them, what they did, their faith and the mistakes he made and the mistakes and the possible idea that they faked a pregnancy for views. We'll get into it. But before we do that, you know what we got to do. We got to spin. You guys going to watch me dance sultry like, okay? Yeah, baby. <laughs> Amanda Friel from our Patreon. Mm. <sighs> it's been a long day, guys. I'm just, I'm hot. I'm just hot today. Hot. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Amy Gillingham. I've thrown one for this one already. Jerks. I still suck though. Let's go. So a lot of you know who Sam and Nia are. They are a YouTube family vlogger of faith, I guess you can call them that. And uh, this is our family, the ups and downs, the fun and the falls. By way of introduction, this is Symphony. Okay, the kid's name is Symphony. 10, Abram 7, Juliet 4, and finally, Josie Newborn. Grow along with us as we take marriage, parenting, and family drama head on and strive to live in godly community on a daily basis. Let me say it again. I might have to make a t-shirt. If you exploit your children online for money and views, nope, you cannot call yourself a Christian. Sorry. That's exploitation of children. Okay. The innocent ones of our society. And you're completely failing as parents. Well, not only that, they were over a billion views, by the way. Okay. And they have obviously had some scandals and we're going to get into it today. But this picture of Sam here, it looks nothing like him. Looks like another dude. 
But basically, this family became famous, and I think I'll show you that. Let's go through their videos real quick. I'll show you their top videos, sort by most popular. It's how we always do this, right? And it goes, dad turns our pool into a spot, into emoji, which is dumb. Okay, here it is. Good looking parents sing Disney's Frozen. Literally called themselves good looking parents sing Disney's Frozen. And as I was reading the BuzzFeed article that we're going to dive into in a second, he knew this was going to go viral. Like they're pregnant and it went viral. 23 million views. That's a lot of cash for one video. Although it's a Disney song, so I'm not sure they could cash in on it. They definitely went viral because of it. And then a lot of their viral videos are like the bird vlog, obviously. They do a lot with their pool. Um, they explode their pool. They put a pool inside of a pool. You know, husband shops to wife with pregnancy, which we're going to get to in a second, because this one has 19 million views. So if you don't know the story of Sam and Nia, let's break this video down together first. We'll talk about it. I'll probably be scrubbing because it's a very long video. Warning, this is going to be a long video. This is going to be an expose, which you know I take a long time on. And we want to talk about this because this is the craziest thing in the world. And it, I'm going to prove to you what people would do no matter what walk of faith, what walk of life will do for money and fame. Okay, so let's get into this. This, okay, I call it dipped in piss, but husband shocks wife with pregnancy. I call the video dipped in piss because what is it with family vloggers and the amount of piss that we have to watch them go through. So this video is, I guess he's, let's watch it a little bit. It's seven minutes, not too long. Hey guys, I'm trying to hide from Nia. Everybody's up early. I just got home from work. I was hoping everybody would be sleeping. Oh, if you didn't know who Sam is, he's a family vlogger who is a registered nurse. Okay. Just so you're aware. That's why he's wearing scrubs, which, you know, is a very good job. I like nurses. I don't like this guy though. I got some big plans. So I've had this dream about announcing Nia's pregnancy to her. I wanted to find out before she does. And well, last night at 1.30 a.m. while I was at work, she randomly texts me and says that she's two weeks late. Well, right. She's sleeping and texts you that she's two weeks late. Okay, I get it. He had to come up with an excuse because he's on night shift. I get it. He, he thought it through a little bit. Well, let's, let's go through it. Night long, usually Nia goes pee throughout the night. She has a bladder the size of a golf ball. And she doesn't flush the toilet at night. Toilet. Toilet. It's a toilet. Okay, it's not a toilet. It's not all... What is with the f family vloggers not understanding how to pronounce words? Because she's afraid she'll wake up the baby. So here... It's bullshit. Flush the toilet, wake up your baby. Is your toilet... What is it? What decibels are your toilet at? Give me a break. Yeah. And I'm so excited. I have a... Specimen. I have a specimen. I knew it would be there. I don't... I can already tell, like my gut is already telling me this guy's a straight up liar. This is straight up lies. Oh, yeah. He pissed in that toilet. Or off because it's all diluted, but um, I also brought home a pregnancy test. And this time around, I'm going to be doing the announcement. At least I hope, I hope so. But so this is his spin, right? Usually it's the wife telling them they're pregnant, right? And everybody gets so happy. And everybody's like, yay, million views, except for uh, Bits of Bish. Let's take a look at theirs real quick. <laughs> Remember Bits of Bish's <laughs> Adam's like, oh, that's nice. <laughs> Remember Bits of Bits like, aloha, husband, we're pregnant. And he's like, oh. And it was the, st <laughs> it was, she was so let down because his reaction didn't, wasn't what she wanted. And it was like so garbage. But he's, so Sam and Nia, they get a viral video, right? And then he's looking for another way to go viral because they started making daily vlogs and all that kind of stuff. And then, uh, you know, he's looking for another reason. So this is like, no one's done this where the husband can find out before the wife. And then like, this is unheard of it's because it doesn't effing work. She's pregnant. She thinks I'm in here going poop. Yeah, so let's do this. Uh! So he, he took a dropper and pulled it out. Clear sample. So far, nothing on the test. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so, as you can tell, people are going to be like, oh, this is amazing. But we'll get to the article in a minute. Let's just finish the video, then I'll, 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 I'll dismantle it for you guys. She's really pregnant. And he's completely acting here. Like, this is, again, my gut is saying, like, this guy knew, like, this is all planned. When you're not a good actor, it shows, okay? And this guy's clearly not a good actor or a good liar because we'll, we'll find out why he's not a good liar soon. 
and if shit isn't in focus, like every family vlogger ever in existence. Okay, what should I do? How am I gonna announce it? You're gonna announce it the way you rehearsed it with your wife, that's. What am I gonna do? Good morning, kids. Good morning, Good morning precious. So <laughs> Did you rehearse your lines? <laughs> You're my precious. <laughs> oh, he definitely just almost sucked her eyeball out of her head there for a second. Me, me. What are you doing to me? <laughs> You're a butthead. Are they eating off paper plates? That's weird. That's a waste. <laughs> Why do, you, why do you eat off paper plates? There's so many fake flowers in her house. It's really weird. Are they living at their grandmother's or something? It's weird, right? I'm not just, I'm not the only thinking that. This film in your cute face. Yeah. <laughs> what in the world? No. What? Why can't I film you? You can't. You're just like randomly like flashing in my face and stuff. She just looks extra cute this morning. No, I know. You getting wine for us? No, I'm not getting wine. Kidding me right now? I'm getting jelly for our biscuits. Oh, that's right. You can't have one. Really? Why don't you make a bologna sandwich, honey? Bologna? Oh, you can't. This is so fake. It, it's so fake, it hurts me. Bologna? He's just full of it. He's full of bologna, you guys. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Yeah, I don't? No. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> You're so cute. Ugh. Oh. Yuck. First of all, there's no way you say this on a camera. Okay, it just doesn't happen. Don't tell him that I can. He's she. I think she's okay. Well, that's fake, obviously, but okay. You never take one. I haven't taken one yet. I'm just like telling you, my calendar says I'm 14 days. Dang it! I thought she took one. Yeah, we did take one, honey. No. No, you didn't. Can you take something out of my top pocket right there? There's piss in your pocket, dude. Pull it out. Oh my god. Pull it out. Oh gosh, you are so funny. Oh, you brought a positive one home. Come on, right? That's fake AF. <laughs> what? <laughs> No, it's true. <laughs> You're pregnant? Yeah. Oh my yeah. gosh. You guys, a joke. Those of you out there who are like, ah, I'm pregnant. Um, this is a joke. Yeah, it is a joke. The joke's on you. The joke's on her, right, guys? No. Joke's on everyone watching. Because they believe this shit. <laughs> now, tell you. What did you do? Huh? What did you do? Did you get a jumper out of the toilet? How does she know that specific detail of it? How does she know that specific detail? No, you didn't. I did. No way. Are you serious right now? No way. Liars. <laughs> Are you serious? I'm dead serious? Are you 100? It's the music. Let's do it. <laughs> Pregnant with peace. Is that serious? Well, yeah, I just did it. That's what I was doing. I, I was taking a dump. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I can't believe I'm finding out like this. I have all these plans to- This is so fake, guys. This is so fake. Oh, Sam, so, when I found out, I this isn't fair. Sure. Okay, f fake, 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 obviously. So the big thing that happened, then they did another video, said our baby had a heartbeat which they didn't show. And three days later after this video, they talk about how they had a miscarriage. Now, Likely what just happened was she started her period. Hear me out. The BuzzFeed article, there's a BuzzFeed article that calls Doctors Cast Doubt on Viral Video Star Sam and Nia's Pregnancy Claims. Okay? Last Wednesday, the internet fell in love with vlogging couple Sam and Nia Raider. 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 Raider? Whatever. The photogenic pair and their equally adorable children charmed the masses on YouTube after Sam revealed his wife to his wife that she was pregnant. Before they even knew her, before she even knew herself. But using pee, she left in a toilet bowl for a pregnancy test. This is where this is. Okay. The seemingly spontaneous video seemed destined to become viral hit and soon racked up nearly 13 million views on YouTube. The couple from Terrell, Texas gained thousands of fans and supporters wishing their family well and promised to keep everyone updated on their pregnancy. Let me tell you this, guys. This seven, eight minute video likely garnered them 
up to this point, I don't know, fifty, sixty thousand dollars like just that one video. Would you do that? Would you fake a pregnancy that doesn't hurt anybody for $60,000? Would you do for fame? So, but just three days later, the Raiders delivered a devastating piece of news in the video called our baby had a heartbeat. They had lost the baby whom they referred to as a girl. They estimated Nia was six weeks pregnant. Okay, so that's it. So the follow-up received, the follow -up received 4 million views and it's gone. They deleted that video, okay? Because people were poking major holes in it. We're so hurt, but we're so thankful that God used us like this. Sam says in the video later, adding, I just hope this video continues to be a way, God for, a way for God to shine a light through us. How is God shining a light through you that you, that you lied? <laughs> so... The high school sweethearts who describe themselves as a devout Christian soon received well wishes from around the world and were praised in the media by their fans for helping break the taboo of miscarriage. Why is miscarriage a taboo? Who said that? Our tiny baby brought 10 million views to her video and 100,000 new people into our lives. She turned our life around and brought us closer together. This fake baby made you rich and famous. They said it right there. Okay. It's a heartbreaking story, but questions have been raised about the validity. Many were skeptical of the Raiders, believing they were faking the miscarriage for attention. So experts told BuzzFeed News that the, methods, the method Sam used to administer the pregnancy test with pee diluted in a toilet bowl is not advisable. Sam told BuzzFeed News the couple never confirmed the pregnancy with a doctor. So then how did you had, know it had a heartbeat and know it was a girl? How did you know if you didn't confirm it with a doctor? It means you didn't get a thing. So that to me is like, okay, liars. La -la 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 -la. I would, I would not recommend this method. Wendy White, MD, a, a perinatologist at Mayo Clinic told BuzzFeed News it would lead to false negatives and theoretically could lead to false positives as well. Okay. So Dr. Fiona Clancy, the scientific and medical affairs director for Sureview, the pregnancy test brand the couple used echoed Dr. White's sentiment. The pregnancy test that he used. This is definitely not a method we would recommend, she said. Firstly, the urine will be diluted by the toilet water, and in very early pregnancy, this means the pregnancy hormone HCG may no longer be detectable by a home pregnancy test. It's diluted in, like, tons of water. When he poured it in, it was clear. Also, let's not forget, Sam works at a hospital where many pregnant women go to. Just saying. Just saying. Okay? In a video posted the next day, Sam Raider said he quit his job, and the next day quits his job after the shit goes viral, okay? Quits his job and a nurse to focus on, as a nurse to focus on vlogging, but his employer, Texas Regional Medical Center, refuted the idea he quit. So they're saying he didn't quit. He said he did, but he didn't. Sam Raider told BuzzFeed News he knew the Frozen video would go viral, and afterward, people told the couple they should start vlogging more often, so they began posting daily vlogs to their channel, which they named Sam and Nia. The former ER nurse said he had a hunch that, just like the Frozen video, a video of him announcing his wife's pregnancy would go viral. I was definitely hoping for it, he said. I've always had a dream to be famous. How far would you go? How far would you go? So according to Dr. White from the Mayo Clinic, this testing method is, isn't very reliable because if there isn't a chemical in the toilet, like a cleaner or bleach, the results would be affected, she said. But she did say that if you have 20 cc's of urine, that is about half an ounce, uh, much less than the average person would go. In a liter of water, it will not be detected. Newer toilet bowls generally hold about 1.5 liters of water. A plumber who works near the couple's Texas town told BuzzFeed News. They went crazy. They went into it. In response to the expert's doubts, Sam told BuzzFeed News that he realizes he didn't do the test exactly how the instructions tell you to. Of course, it's not the most accurate way to tell a test, he said. Okay, look at his. Why is his hair like that here? What's with the hair? Looks like, what is going on? Looks like a serial killer in the 70s. Sam said his wife had gone to the bathroom several times during the night. How does he know he was at work? He was at work. He also said that the couple did another test with undil undiluted urine, which is seen in the video, but not explained. They use the same dropper to put the urine on the test, but don't mention where it comes from. Again, he works at a hospital. With their most recent success, the Raiders have received tons of support and media attention, which they seem to enjoy. After announcing the miscarriage, they posted a video where they tried and failed to use their fame to get into Legoland for free. <laughs> In the same video, Sam Raider announced to his wife that he had quit his job as a nurse at the Texas Regional Medical Center. Okay, he said that is. And then he told BuzzFeed News that even though he posted a video telling his wife he quit his job after the viral fame, he actually quit two weeks before. So he lied to the newspaper. He said the family was making enough money from vlogging and a side photography business to make ends meet. When BuzzFeed News contacted the hospital, a human resources spokesperson confirmed that Raider had been employed at the hospital since February. However, she said there was no record of him quitting. So he didn't even quit. That's a weird story. This isn't the first controversy for the young Texas couple, and we'll get into another one in a second here. But just last month, a petition began circulating encouraging NatureBox to drop its partnership with the couple after they posted a now-deleted video called Kids React to Gay Marriage. Because they're very 
obviously fundamental Christians. According to the petition, the video shows them seeing coercing their young daughter's symphony and saying same-sex marriage is wrong after she says homosexual couples should be able to marry if they want to. Holy frig, I didn't even know that. I'm just reading that now. Holy crap. A commenter on YouTube, Leslie1987, also wrote that she took a test and got a negative. I'm 11 weeks pregnant and had my first positive pregnancy after four weeks. Anyway, I just took another test the way Sam did using pee in the toilet water just for my own personal interest to see if it would work. Test came back negative. Hmm, I really don't know what to think of this couple. So a lot of people were doing it. Some of the comments were like, I'm still stuck in the fact that they titled their own video, Good Looking Parents. <laughs> it tells you all you need to know. So my whole take on this is, yeah, I do believe it's fake. Uh, they deleted the video about their kid having a, a heartbeat and that they had a miscarriage three days later after knowing you're pregnant for six weeks. Again, sounds to me like she just started her period late. I mean, if they really want to debunk this because they live in the public eye, just show the medical records right? He's a nurse himself. You could, sh it's easy for you to show the medical records if you want to, if you want to, if you want to mitigate the disaster of what happened in their family vlog and apparently like it shut shit down. That's not the only thing that happened. But if you want to mitigate that disaster, show the records. I could, my gut tells me they're lying. That's what a lot of people believe. So I allegedly they're lying. So then they did this video. Did we fake our miscarriage? And they're just doing it for more views. They know it's going to bring in the views. So let's watch it. So guys, two years after me and I had our miscarriage, we're still getting comments, um, not just calls, but emails of people questioning us if we had faked our miscarriage and if the whole thing was real or if it was all staged. And so we've decided to sit down, make a formal video, not only for the for views okay are haters asking these questions but for you know the og fan basic for the fan basic one the og fan basic this one's for you y'all thanks bruh today and for future fan basic for family and we just want to be able to like talk to you guys about what really happened from our point of view why we think things kind of got skewed out of proportion i guess just like touch base on everything from that time of our life with you guys who we care so much about and who's you know, just been there with us through all of these things. Yep. That we've, moment. We've only answered this one time. Did we fake our miscarriage? We answered it one time, and it was in an interview with Inside Edition. Oh, yeah. So that was the only time we addressed it with Inside Edition. We told them, no, we did not fake it. Why did people think... So that's all you have to say in this video. Why you have a nine-minute video telling us what you are going to tell us right now? It was fake. I mean, we've talked about it. I can see how people came to the conclusion, you know, we had just had this viral video... It was followed up by some drama from Sam's past. We'll get to that in a minute. Yeah, yeah. There was a few controversial things that came up as well as we were going viral at the time and all of it mixed together. And um, they said Nia's reaction seemed fake in the pregnancy announcement video. And then a Yep, that was fake AF, bro. Was did you use a diluted dropper in the toilet to get my pregnancy test? Is that what you did? The exact thing he did? Yeah, that's a little bit weird. Anybody can deduce that that's fake. It's fake. Two days after the announcement that we announced the miscarriage, people thought we set the whole thing up, we faked it, and to get out of it, we said we had a miscarriage. And that's why people thought it was fake. And honestly, those of you who do still question us, and maybe you're a hater, we are... Sure. I guess, when people are going to question you, they're haters, right? They're only, they can only be haters. They only want to see you fail. No, the issue is, is that when you use something like this, people get an icky feeling because family vloggers like Sam and Nia, who do anything to get famous, will use whatever it takes to get famous. And they did this thing and they're like, shit, this thing went massively viral. Now what are we going to do? Oh, I had a miscarriage three days later. And deleted the video about that. Where's that video? If you're not guilty, where's that video? If you're so innocent, show me the video. Understand. Like, I just want to throw that out there. We understand how things probably looked that way, but that's not our heart and that's not who we are. That's not what we stand for as believers. Bullshit. This is the issue with family vloggers. I'm going to get into another story. It's Judy's life soon about this type of thing where people will do whatever it takes to protect their paycheck. Okay? Whatever it takes. And I think it's important to say that. We understand you guys. We get it. It was a lot of stuff going on on our channel and in mm -hmm. our life. And There's some lies out there about us. But that's the most hurtful one, that people would think we would actually fake a miscarriage, just like... Why? When that money starts rolling in, right, and you your, your vlogging isn't really picking up, you even admitted that it brought 10 million views and 100,000 subscribers to your channel. 100,000 subscribers. That is a huge, huge deal. You panicked, and then you did the other thing. And again, just prove it. Prove it to people. All you, you just have to... You know what? If you're so adamant... Prove it. Golly. And it, just, it sucks having that reputation as well. 
So we want to address that if, for anybody who has a question. Hopefully, we'll get through this video. They're just trying to get back into the in the yard. They're starting to go hard again. They went. They mitigated this disaster, and then there was another one that followed right afterwards, which we'll get to in a second. And see that we're people who would never fake the death of a baby. It's just absolutely ridiculous. We're like pro-life, 100%. We've been very outspoken about that on. Again, I, I guess I have to, you know, spoiler, they're all like, we would never do anything. This guy was on, was part of the, uh, this guy was part of the Ashley Madison scandal. He was trying to cheat on his wife through the Ashley Madison website. So don't sit there and tell me that you wouldn't do something crazy to get, to do what you got to do. Because you just, it's, it's, you're disingenuous. And again, when you're doing whatever it takes to get famous, when these, pay, when these YouTube paychecks start rolling in for these family vloggers, then it's. They, they quit their jobs, they do everything, they go down that line, and then what's he gonna do? Does he have to go get his NCLEX again to get back into becoming a nurse? Once you've, once you've tasted that like YouTube money, like, and it's easy, because it is easy. Once you, if you can get to this level and it, it becomes simple, because you're just vlogging bullshit all day long, right? Then going back to a regular job is just like, you can't even imagine it. Nobody wants to take steps backwards. Everybody wants to take steps forwards. I get that. But yeah, I do believe it. If you're willing to cheat on your wife by going on a website, I do believe you'd be willing to fake this because there was no baby that died. So you might be pro-life all till the day is long. But this is this this isn't technically anything like that. You just lied is all it was. And you lie a lot because you lied to your wife. So yeah, I believe you did lie. General, and the last thing we would ever do is make light of a miscarriage. So the real story really? is we did not fake our miscarriage. I really and truly found out I was pregnant and then two days later I had a miscarriage. Found out through urine in the toilet which was diluted and it's been proven for the people who doubted that HCG can be found in diluted urine that it is still in fact present and will give you a positive pregnancy. Or a false positive. Or a negative. Or false negative. Again, why don't you just get in what here's here's your solution there Samuel. Bring that out to your wife, be like, look, you're pregnant, yay! You know what, just to be sure, here's another one. Go in there and take a piss on this. That's all you had to do. Literally could have taken you two seconds. All should be like, that's so fun, let's just double check. Should we just double check before this video goes massively viral? Let's just double check, okay? But no, you didn't want to double check because if she would have peed on that thing with full on piss, it would have been a negative. That's why. People have questions. All you had to do was not lie. So what happened the night of the miscarriage? Let's tell them about that because we haven't really yeah. talked about that either. Okay, so we had gone to dinner at our friend's house. Wait, was this the day we posted the yes. viral video? We posted. I, it was the day we posted the yeah, video. It was the, it was the night of the day. Right? Yeah, we posted. So he's telling us right now they posted this massive viral video. It went viral the night they had their miscarriage. So we'll take that shit down. Take that shit down it in the morning and the next night we were going to dinner with some friends we filmed it the day before right so we are having dinner with our friends we left their house and we decided spontaneously on the way home to stop at nana's house she lives on the way home we were so excited we had this video because that we were going viral going like, viral like the views were just coming in like crazy as we shared on the news we we're excited we went to yeah again and didn't she say they were six weeks pregnant so she was two weeks late for her thing i don't know I don't know things. Could be. I don't know. <laughs> I don't get it. Nana's house because she was super excited too. Car. I was walking up to Nana's house and I felt something shift inside of me. Like no lie, I was walking up the stairs. I like felt it. And I I remember thinking like, oh my gosh, this weird feeling. It was like kind of. It was holy shit. We're gonna be caught in this massive ass lie. Uh oh, that's the shit that you felt. Crampy, kind of, just weird. I can't. Like the onset of your period. Explain it beyond that. Get in the house and I didn't say anything. We we're just all excited and celebrating and I go to the restroom and there's a little bit of blood in my underwear. Sorry. So spotting? Period? That's your period. Again, all they had to do was pr could you now, I'm not, a, I'm not a doctor. I don't know how this really works if you're miscarriage. Do you go to a doctor? The doctor says, yes, you were, and here's the thing. Do you get a record of it? I don't know. But at the same time, when this something, when the stakes are this high, they see the views rolling in as they pull up to the dinner, and they're like, okay, you know, they didn't, if they didn't get, first of all, why didn't they follow it up with a, with another test? Why didn't they go to the doctor? Because if you had a, it sounds to me just like, oh, I just missed my two weeks waiting on my period. Boom, period comes. That's what I'm thinking. But they're saying, no, 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 it was definitely miscarriage with no medical records. 
the, the stakes are that high for this channel. They make a lot of money. Why not just show the records? That's TMI. It came out. I was really nervous. I was kind of quiet. And I, I mentioned it to Sam. And I was like, it's just a little bit, you know, and we kind of just like, it's probably nothing. Let's pray. We all prayed in Nana's living room. You know, we continued to go on with our night. And I guess like an hour later, I went back to the restroom and there was even more blood. It wasn't a ton and, at this and point. And you came out. She came out and started crying, right? Yeah. I was... I mean, we I all got like, emotional together. If Again, crying because like, oh shit, we have this massively viral video that day. I told everybody I was pregnant, but now my period started. You're crying because you got caught in a lie. And you know what? I might even give them the benefit of the doubt here by saying maybe they didn't want to, to, to double check. Maybe they just wanted to live, go on and say, let's just go with this. Let's just go with this. It's almost like um, plausible deniability, right? At some point we're like, well, you know. We took the test. It was positive. Like, where's all the other stuff? I don't get it. Like, you don't go to the doctor and instantly right away when you like, you're not making appointments. You're not going. The guy is a nurse. Take more tests. I just there's too many unanswered questions that lead to this big lie because yeah, he would do anything to get famous, and I'm never gonna leave that point. And he would lie, massively lie. One of the biggest lies you could ever tell somebody by cheating on them. Okay, that's a lie. So is he capable? Yes. Did they? It's still alleged because they're saying that it didn't. But too much, too many unanswered questions here. I picked up the camera, started vlogging about it. Never made the cut, never ended the vlog because it was too raw. We didn't like how raw it looked at the time. So your first inclination, your wife's having miscarriage, is to pick up the camera and film it. But, oh, we didn't put it in the vlog. No worries. You still filmed it. These guys will do anything. I don't even How much more do I have to say that they'll do anything for the, for the views and clout? Anything. If your wife's having miscarriage, do not pick up a camera. Please don't do that. Yeah. I wish I had it. I wish I could share it with you guys. Like, anyway, so... Why can't you share? You filmed it. Back home. I he just, he just glosses over that. I wish I had to show you. You said you filmed it. It just didn't make the cut. So what, did you just delete it? That's convenient. This guy would definitely be roasted in a court of law. For that, and that's when the, the miscarriage actually happened while she was on the toilet. Right? Well, actually, on the way home, I started cramping really bad. I remember we stopped for gas. I remember all of this, and I was like, babe, I think I am. I really think I am. And he was like, no, no, no. No, you're not. And so... Camera just died. I had to go grab another one. So where were you at? Where at the gas station? You were... Yes. And so we got home. I got out of the car. And I could have just cut that. Oh, my God. Felt something just slightly fall into my underwear. So we, we went inside. I sat on the toilet. And even more fell into the toilet. Like, just a pretty large mass of blood and tissue. At the time, I was really freaking out. I mean, like, I'm. it's kind of hazy in my mind. Cause and then you got up and told me, right? You came and yeah, told I me came and told Let her tell the story, buddy. He's like, oh, yeah, then you did this, right? Come on. Like, I'm, I'm not a freaking, like, scientist or whatever, psychologist or whatever. He's just, like, leading her into the questions. Like, I'm not saying take a picture of it. That's disgusting. But can a... Man, I don't know. Like, it, it, the unanswered questions are, like, is a doctor going to be able to tell you if you were? Like, I don't know. Now, if this is their answer, I feel like they did a bunch of research to figure out what is the most plausible way of saying that this happened without having to prove anything. Right? It was bawling and she was like, it happened. I said I, pa I passed a large clump of blood, like a huge blood clot into the toilet. I was kind of freaking out too. So I went into our bathroom after that. I went Maybe you should have went to the hospital. Hmm. Sounds like a plan. Why didn't you go to the hospital? From one bathroom to the next one. And Sam was getting the kids ready for bed. I, I was freaking out. I remember being like... Why do these family vloggers always have these crazy, intense, crazy stories about things, but never think to do the thing you're supposed to do, which is like call the police when something's bad? When something bad's going on, or go to the hospital when you're passing massive amounts of blood clots out of your vagina. Just saying. He's a nurse too, so like, mm, hello, ambulance. Kind of screaming. I, I regret how I acted because the kids could hear me, and it was just. I don't remember that. I was just like. Ah! It was. That was icky. That was icky. And notice how she can't look at the camera when she says it. Really painful. Why can't they never look at the camera when they're talking about the stuff? Why is it whenever there's an apology video or a video where they're trying to explain allegedly lie, they never can look at the camera? I've pointed this out in so many videos. And this one right here, textbook. Textbook. Time. For me as well, I was also crying and I retrieved it and... Can't look at the camera, gotta look up. Um, anyway, we won't, we won't get into too many details about... Said I retrieved it out of the toilet? She said she, t she dropped it at the gas station though. What? All that, but we decided to not vlog for two more days, right? 
why the video went viral. Yeah, while it collected massive amounts of views and money. Yep, no, I get it. Mm -hmm. And put, ended up posting the miscarriage announcement. Yeah, we. There was no video in between, right? Was, look at the camera. Look at me. Look at me. Announcement, and then a couple days later, mm -hmm. we uh, no. decided to sit down oh, and do the video where we announced the miscarriage. Yes. And for the record, that wasn't done lightly. We actually sat down and discussed with our family. Mm in depth i don't know if you remember but matthew was over your mom was over we talked to lawyers we talked to doctors we're trying to figure out okay what how are we gonna spin this how are we gonna spin this oh this makes me feel so gross and we were like guys we just don't know this is gonna seem fishy like what do we do yeah the and, way the timing obviously was just crazy and you, you wait two days while a viral video, while a video that started going viral goes even more massively viral. I think at this point it's got like, what is it, 23 million views? You got 10 million views rolling and you're going to be covered in the news and you're taking interviews with news all the while she's not pregnant. This is days and days after they already did the video. This is two days after. I mean, in the meantime, there, there's articles being released about this. There's everything going on. They waited two days while that video collected massive amounts of views. Two days. And then they said, oh, oh by the way, we also had a miscarriage, which also got... Tons and tons and tons of views, which took away the stigma of mis miscarriages. What? What? Well, they had some good advice for us, and the best advice that we could come to from them, and Sam talked to Bo, I think Keith about it, was just to be honest and to let you guys know sooner than later that something had happened, and that's kind of just... So, no. If you knew the night of that it happened, why didn't you take the video down? You, that video is still up, by the way. <laughs> it's like they're one of their most popular videos. They still collect money on that video spiral out of control yeah people said we looked fake when we're neo was crying in the video yeah so that's this well i can't see the video because you deleted it why would you delete that video again if you're if you want to make yourself look guilty delete the evidence right delete that video that i want to see that if you're so genuine about it why is that video gone if somebody out there has that video logged away somewhere please send it to me i'd like to dismantle it myself and figure it out um but why delete it you left up the pregnancy video you left up the other videos, why did you delete that video? There's just too many unanswered questions, right? At this point, it just gets a little bit shady. Corey, that's the truth. We actually had a miscarriage. We named the baby Layton. We planted it in a... a I thought it was a girl. Plant you guys saw Symphony, right? I think we, we did vlog that. The plant we bought, we ended up planting the tissue inside that plant. Yeah, and, and just, you know, I just want to say a couple of things, too, about, you know, me... I thought the tissue was flushed down a gas station toilet. What the F? Because there's just a lot of stuff. I'm like an ugly crier and I know a lot of a lot of people were saying that I, I one thing that just stuck out in my mind since then was that I was squeezing the tears out of my face mm -hmm. and to this day I think about that comment when I do because you weren't you didn't do good enough <laughs> do this when I cry I mean I just like I squeeze my eyes I, I like why are you justifying again I have to say this again every I always have to say this to you to everybody if you gotta say the thing it's not the thing Right, they're just a, this is just to me is this icky justification like oh I, people were saying I can cry but but this is what I do when I cry and you know and the, the gas station toilet and this and that and we were just why don't you just tell the truth like I, I couldn't tell the truth because they would have been canceled they would here's the issue they did, I don't think that they realized that video was gonna go as viral as it did and the stakes got way way bigger as big as that video got and they had to mitigate the disaster right before like because what are they gonna do what are they gonna do press on my eyeballs because you don't have to defend yourself babe. i know i just want you guys to know that and another thing i just remember that a lot of people were asking us was did we go to a doctor after the miscarriage that's what i was asking and they wanted more proof that we had the miscarriage and the reason we didn't go into a doctor because first of all the the miscarriage was very obvious there was no complications whatsoever i don't care if there's no complications brah you go to the doctor anyway to just get that shit checked out why would you not? Any doctors out there, please reach out to me. If you have a miscarriage, you go to the doctor, right? You don't just be like, well, it was all good. All good, right? I'm, I'm not crazy. You weren't even cramping afterwards, right? Oh, you were a little bit, yeah. but, but not really. There's no complications. This guy's a nurse? And he's like, no, we're not going to go to the doctor. Again, <laughs> that's convenient. Like, that's why people like me and other people are super skeptical because you literally have a miscarriage, which is crazy for any woman to go through. And you didn't go to a doctor because you're like, no complications, all good. You're a nurse, not a doctor. Okay, so let's be real. And I was an ER nurse at the time. We had miscarriages coming in and out of the door all the time. So this was just like, a, as far as going to the doctor, I would never... She, you may have suggested going to the doctor. Yeah. I could have been the one saying that we don't need to go to the... 
excuse me? Your wife's like, look, can I go to the doctor? And you're like, we don't need to go to the doctor. After your wife had a miscarriage, you're telling her we're not going to the doctor. Uh, are you shitting me right now? Am I the only one thinking, oh my God, that's probably one of the worst things I've ever heard out of his mouth so far at this point? They're justifying not going to the doctor. I'm telling you, everybody, if you have a miscarriage, God forbid, you go to a doctor, right? That to me right there stands out as one of the biggest lies of this entire thing. All you had to do is go to the doctor and the doctor could have said, yeah, here it is. You're clear. You know, let me just take a look, make sure there's no infection, blah, 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 then move on. He's like, how many are a nurse? Okay, great, bro. Just because you see other people come into the hospital. Well, why are they hospital? Because they just had a miscarriage. So yeah, you see them in and out all the time because they had a miscarriage. So they came to the hospital. Are you kidding me right now? He's proving himself wrong every single time now. He just, it's making it worse. They dig themselves in this massive hole and that's why they can't get out of this hole because they're lying. And when you have to use lies to cover up lies, people can poke holes to shit like that because in the end, the truth comes out. Doctor, and um, just so you guys know, like that's the case if like our kids have fevers, like we just don't just go to the doctor for everything. Yeah. A lot, yeah we, oh yeah. You know, a fever, a cough. We don't go to the doctor for that. No. Yeah. It's, it's a, basically the same as a miscarriage. Basically the same. Yeah. Totally understand. You have got to be kidding me right now. Yo, I see. I saw how abused the system was, and so I steer away from going to the doctor as much as possible. And do what we can here at home. So yeah, that's what that's a bullshit lie. I don't believe anything that they just said there. And of course, they're not looking. They can't look at the camera when they say it because they're lying. That is a lie. I don't care. I don't care if something this traumatic. If something this traumatic happens to you, you go to a doctor. The guy's a nurse. And he's telling his do wife not to go see a doctor. We didn't go to the doctor. With all that being said, guys, the truth. <laughs> Thanks for clearing it up there, bruh. This for the people in the future who are questioning our honesty on our miscarriage. Um, the truth is we had a miscarriage and um, the baby was called Layton. We assumed it was a girl. Oh, Layton's a girl. I didn't. Yeah, I mean, it was obviously just... You assumed it was a girl. Okay, so you, you t okay, why? Why did you assume it was a girl? Very early on, but I've, I've had she a had feeling. a feeling, so we won't... Oh, you had a feeling, okay. So, I mean, I'm not going to hate on them for that. If this, if the case is that they did have a miscarriage, and that's her feeling, sure. That's that's semantics. It was a girl. Yeah, I mean, it was obviously just very early on, but I've, I've had she had a feeling, feeling. So we won't with that feeling. All the babies, I've had my feelings, and so... Yeah, that's the truth. Maybe. But I just still can't get around you as a registered nurse, your wife having miscarriage, not going to the doctor. It's just too convenient. It doesn't make sense. And it's convenient for you. That's the problem. So if you were hoping to dispel any rumors that you were lying in this video, you made it worse, Sam. That's a straight up lie. You got, she can't even look at the camera. I don't know how you can live with yourself when this, with this type of like deceit. It must be, it must eat you alive, especially if you consider yourself Christians, which I do believe that you consider yourself Christians, okay? But how does that not eat you alive? Thanks for all the people who stood by us up to this point. Yeah. Typical friggin', thanks for those who believed us. Thank you. <laughs> you know, the stakes are so high at this point that even their kids, they're going to have to be deceitful. If this is a lie, they're going to have to be deceitful to their kids till, the, till their dying day. Like, if you lied about this for your, if you lied about this and it just seems like there's just every, like, of all the evidence provided here, it's really hard for people to, it's really hard to believe this. Possibly hear from in their schools and, and we want to defend that, you know, and we do our best not to feed into the haters. And Stop calling people haters. Like, I get it because people want to hate on people and I guess people consider me a hater, sure. But the, the, the thing when you when you just all of a sudden put everybody in this hater category, then you can justify being whoever you are because, oh, it's just haters. It's just haters. They just hate us. You know, what people do hate is when you're deceit, when you are deceitful, when you lie to people, and when you go to the bottom, when you go to the depths of the grossness of doing something like this, if you did it. And I honestly believe that they, they lied. I think, I don't, I think though they had intentions to just be like, well, let's just see what happens, right? And then that shit got out of hand real fast. And the evidence just stacks up that, okay, that video is still up on their channel and it's collected them tens of thousands of dollars, okay? And then the one video where they talk about the, the baby being gone, all of a sudden is gone. I mean, just, you can't, what do you want me? How am I supposed to believe that? How, how are people supposed to take that? You know, negative things that are- important. 
Yeah, this just seemed uh, like too big. Yeah, let's keep feeding her the answers. I've actually been wanting to make this video for a while. We've been putting it off. Yeah, because it's got tons of he views, too. And so we decided to make that video finally today in place of a vlog. He gets super pissed, upset about this stuff. He's got, this guy's got a short fuse. I can see it in his eyes. He got a short fuse. And he got kicked out of a YouTube conference because he got in a fight with another, I think it was, was it Colin and Katie? Man, I would have liked to hate them both, so it would have been funny to go down. So, um, okay, so we talk about that, and I, that's my take on that, okay? And again, I allegedly they're lying. That's my opinion, that they clearly have said that they have not lied, okay? They didn't lie, um, and that's fine. But we have proof here of him lying. So we're going to... The, the other thing that happened with Sam and Nia was this big, giant blow-up where... Um, Remember when, um, the, I forget who the hackers were, they took down, <laughs> this is the craziest thing ever, okay, so there's a website called uh, Ashley Madison, okay, Ashley Madison was a website where I think the tagline was, if life's too short, cheat on your spouse or something like that, life's too, sh life's too short to not cheat on your spouse or life's too short, have an affair or something like that. I remember when this came out and I was like, oh my gosh, this is like the best hack ever because those who were on this website, like, this website exists for people to cheat on their spouse, which to me is like, really? If you're going to cheat on your spouse, just leave your spouse, okay? Just just be an adult. If you don't want to be with your, in your marriage anymore, leave your marriage, okay? Cheating is probably the worst thing you could possibly do, okay? That's my belief, okay? So, but I mean, if you have a consenting open marriage, that's different. That's all different. But I'm talking about these people who went on the site secretly to get on. And a lot of them use the real emails like this guy did. So they were hacked, and the, the people that hacked them said, look, give us this much money, or we're going to release it. And Ashton Madison's like, we're not going to give you that. Then they released it, and then Ashton Madison is still around because this. They make a ton of money. So Sam is on Ashley Madison. The only reason you're on Ashley Madison is to cheat on your spouse because you intend to cheat on your spouse. So he gets caught, big blow up, and this is around the same time they went viral. And then this is their uh, cheating, I call it cheating asshole. What's it called? It's called something else. Um, but uh, let's go through this video. And I, I'm going to preface this by saying don't forget that they're Christian. So there is going to be a lot to be said here. And I'm going to have some scathing things to say about women, Christian women in general, who are almost forced to forgive their husbands because it's the graceful thing to do. It's because their pastors often tell them to do it. It's And it's disgusting what the church does when it comes to cheating husbands. Let's get into it. Hey guys, as you may have seen, my name has been associated with an Ashley Madison account. This guy's... Uh, website... Look at her. Made for spouses who want to have an affair. Um, I'm here to clarify some of this with you guys. Oh, let's let me hear the clarification, mister. Guys, because I owe it to you. Um, I did make the account. I made the account two years ago. Um, oh, okay. No worries then. It's just two years ago. Cool beans. This is an issue that is in our past. Uh, this was before I got onto YouTube. Oh, cool. Like, I don't know what you say after this. What, anything he's about to say is just like, yeah, 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 yeah. That, you, you know, no. I don't care how long ago it was. I don't care if it was before YouTube. I don't care about any of that stuff. This this is the depths of depravity as a Christian man who claims he loves the Lord cheating on his wife. Oh, before YouTube? Oh, no. Oh, cool. Um, I brought this to my church at the time when I first started the church that I'm at now. This has been brought to my discipleship partner. Um... This was brought to my wife's attention. She's... Oh, that's nice. She's right there. You could have just said... It's it's weird. Like, she's not even in this... She's there supporting him with her hand on his back. Likely as a knife in his liver. She has forgiven me for this uh, mistake that I made and opening the account. Um, I've sought forgiveness to God, and he's forgiven me. So I've been completely cleansed of this sin. And also, I need to, I need to be clear that I've never met with a single person face-to-face -face through that website. <laughs> cool beans but you probably chatted you probably did things like we're gonna talk about i think was it uh who was it it was the big the big one uh shay tarts we're gonna get into that story that is a crazy story because they're coming back so let me stop you right there mr sam first of all like i get i get the christian world I, i've seen marriages have reconciliation i've seen the craziest thing guy i knew um, at a church somewhere who literally all he did was travel for a living and had slept with countless amounts of hookers, like sex workers, like countless, countless, countless. Can you count them? 
his wife, in the end, they, they had redemption, they had forgiveness, and they got back together. Apparently, their marriage is better than it's ever been. So I'm not saying this can't happen. I have a problem with it, though. My wife and I agree that if either of us would ever cheat on each other, that's like, that's it. There's no forgiveness. Like, you cheat on me, you're done. Like, if I, I'm a fiercely loyal person. I expect loyalty out of people that are close to me as well, specifically my spouse. And that's kind of just like our rule. We talk about it, and that's been our thing. And But the, here's the thing that the church takes a stance on a lot of times, is that you'll go in for counseling, and a pastor will counsel you to say, you know, let's see if we can figure this out. They want, they want the redemption. They don't want the divorce. They would rather you stick together, and they will often coerce women into staying with cheating spouses. Spouses that beat them, spouses that hurt them, spouses that cheat on them, spouses that spend all their money, that gamble, that do all these things. It's, and it's, I'm not saying it's always the dude, but it's like 93% of the time. In my experience in churches, it's the man that does the dirt. Okay. In my experience, women who generally go to church generally don't do those things. They do, but not on the same level as guys do. And I've seen it countless times where when they go in for counseling, it's on the woman to give forgiveness because if she doesn't forgive, you're living that with in your heart and that's up to you to forgive and blah, blah, blah. And they actually will coerce and pressure women into forgiving dirt bags like this. And I'm not saying you shouldn't. I'm just saying that there is an imbalance when it comes to how this thing needs to be dealt with. Now, the Bible gives you clear instructions. If your husband cheats on you, divorce city. Bye. You can absolutely do it. If your husband cheats on you, if your husband uh, puts anything above you, okay, that's grounds to peace out, right? And they put and they put a ton of weight on divorce. Okay, like they think it's like a bad thing. And, and of course, if you're you want to if you're getting into a marriage, you're making a covenant. You want to do that. Specifically, Christian couples are making a covenant. You want to get together. You're married, and it's an important thing. It is a weighted, lofty thing. But if a, if a person cheats, the Bible says good to go. Okay, gambles incessantly. Good to go. Alcoholic. Good to go. Bye. But a lot of churches will put in, like, they will lean heavily on the woman to be like, to bear the brunt of her husband's sin and say, just forgive him, forgive, forgive. And then we'll get him counseling all the stuff. And so many times it goes through and then the women just end up living unhappily because they don't want to be divorced for one. A lot of women don't want to be. And especially if you, if you are inside of the church world, being divorced is very, it's like the scarlet letter. Okay. It's a very bad thing to be divorced inside churches, regardless of what you think. They have divorce care and all these things coming up now, but it's like you're literally an outsider when you're divorcing in a church. It's just the way it is, and it's terrible. So, but churches will pressure families, and they, and they you know, you know why they do this specifically for this one guy that I knew the story of who slept with countless hookers. Okay, came in, and the pastor would tell the story of this redemption, like it's his win. We got him into counseling. We did this, and would tell multiple people and preach about it on Sunday how this was such an amazing story of redemption and grace that this guy slept with like 400 hookers and his wife took him back. How will you praise the Lord? Because that's a win for the pastor. It's a win for the church when a marriage stays together, regardless if it should or not. And more often than not, it shouldn't be. A marriage should not be together, and pastors will often overlook the shittiest shit that dudes do to their wives in order to get that story of redemption. Isn't that crazy? And that's why I'm saying this. He's like, God is forgiven. And in the end, as an ex pastor, as a person who's a believer, yeah, God, God will forgive you if you see forgiveness. Okay. And for anything you have done, will do, or forever, right? It's unlimited. The grace is unlimited. And so he says this with confidence, blah, 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 because he's just, he's more projecting the fact he's like, let's stop talking about it because I've done, I've already brought it up to my discipleship group. We brought, I brought it to her and she said she's good with it and all this crap. I didn't meet someone face to face, but it doesn't. That, but he was very, he's very selective in the way he used his words here. I know I'm being, I know I'm going way over. I don't really care. This video is really interesting. This couple's really interesting and it surrounds himself with this guy here and she's along for the ride. And again, I will say this just like the Ace family, just like, just like the Weiss life, just like all these families, the rich life. I bet you all these families, they're together for this. This is them making money. They have to stay together because that's how they make their money. What is she going to do? He was a registered nurse. He's always been the breadwinner. What's she going to do? The pressure now is on her to stay because what else is she going to do? She's got kids. She's going to be divorced inside and a Christian. All those things stack up against her, not him. He would likely survive outside of this and go on to do whatever he wants, but she wouldn't. And that's the scariest part of family vlogging to me is these loveless marriages that aren't, they're not actually married. Bits of Bish and Tiffany Beeson. Uh, we know the inside scoop if you go to all these sites, if allegedly, right? More of them are, most of them are unhappy or li literally in probably dead bedroom marriages than anything else, but they stay together for the paycheck because that's what matters most. And you know who suffers in the end? The kids. So let's continue on with this bullshit. And that I never had an affair with anybody ever while I've been married with Nia. Intent matters though. 
intent matters because as Christians, Sam and you know this, if you do it in here and in here, it's the same. You intended to go on a website to meet women to cheat on your spouse with. That is to, in God's eyes, and you can't argue this, Sam and Nia. Try, try, try me. In God's eyes, what you did, Sam, was akin to cheating on your wife. And so you can just, you can sit here all day long and justify, well, I never actually went through with it. You did. If you believe what you believe, Sam and Nia, if you believe what the Bible says, you did. Um, the account was open out of pure fleshly desires and just... Just look at PRN, bro. Why do you need to go cheat on your spouse? Fleshly desires, you can just get those anywhere. Uh, simple curiosity. So mm -hmm. you were questioning my faith and um, me being a Christian and doing this. And well, I wonder why. Here's the problem too, guys. I'm gonna, you ready for some church? All right, here it is. If you're gonna sit on your platform, Sam and Nia, and talk about being Christian, great. But then when this comes down the pipe and you're gonna be like, some people will question my Christianity, you think? You think you're going to be a public professing Christian? You better live it. Okay. You better live above reproach. You better step up to that man, to that mantle. Otherwise, stop talking about it. Okay. If you're going to fake a pregnancy, allegedly, and lie about it, allegedly, and do, and, and exploit your children online, and then go on a, a, a cheating spouse website. Okay. All these things. And, and then profess you're a Christian and you expect people to be like, why would you ask if I'm still Christian? Are you shitting me right now, Sam? You've got to be kidding me right now. What bubble do you live in where you don't understand how crazy that is? Yeah, he's probably in a discipleship group of men who likely all have considered doing the same thing or have done the same thing, okay? Church, the church world, guys, it's a crazy world, let me tell you. Swingers and everything. I'm not joking, okay? I'm not saying they all do. I'm just saying the church world is full of men who will then you come confess your sins to your your part, your, you confess your sins to your disciple group. Okay. The disciple group sits around, they put your hands on you, pray, Oh Lord. And then all of a sudden everything's all magical. And then they're going to, they're going to prop you up because you came and, and confessed your juicy sins that they got to hear and then go, they'll go tell their wives and then it spreads. Okay. But here's the thing. You cannot stand on a public platform and then just be like, oh, I'm good. All good. That's like Carl Lentz saying, I'm all good. It's like all these mega church pastors. If you're going to put yourself in a position to say that you're a Christian and live on those principles, live by the principles. If you fail, step away. Um, I guess what some people don't understand is that we're all broken, even Christians. Oh, are we? Yeah. Come to God as broken people. And he has sent Jesus on the, on the cross to save us from those sins. And because this is in our past and this has already been completely resolved within our family and within my church um, we won't be saying any more of this matter right i love these you know what because we figured it all out f all of you who made us famous screw you everybody does this we just did a video on love meg where she's like i didn't want to why are you renting a house i don't want to none of your business everybody are you listening to this why do family vloggers always do this you are literally public figures. The only way you get paid are by the fans that put you there, that put you up on a pedestal, that love your content, that like that are invested in your lives, which is weird, by the way. Don't think, don't let's not forget how weird that is. And they're the ones watching you. So you let them down because you put yourself on a public platform of being a Christian and a family vlogger and a man of God and blah, blah, blah. And you're such a good husband and all this shit, okay? You did this. So all of a sudden you do something wrong. You're like, well, we did take care of it. So don't ask us anymore. We're not gonna talk about it anymore. And that's why you should be canceled. I won't be talking to any media outlets. The only place you'll hear of this out of our mouth is here on this video. The only time out of our, she hasn't said shit yet. Like she's just sitting there like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like she's not saying a word. He's saying it all. And it's because he's forced to say it. She's like, you have to tell the world. You know, this is why we need a savior. We're sinful by nature. And we do stupid. What a cop out. What a bullshit cop out. I hate this where they're like, he, okay, this is like an abuse of faith. This is like, this is almost like spiritual abuse to some level where he's like, well, we're all sinful and this is why we need grace. And like, this is likely what they told his wife to the pastoral team. And like the, 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 when she went, when they went for counseling for this, they're like, you know, everybody's sinful. This is why we have grace and blah, blah, blah. And it's like almost spiritual abuse to like almost gaslight you into believing that you have to forgive. All these things are this, that's all in the past. You lied among the one most important thing as a man, as a Christian man. Like second, God, your wife, then your kids. Okay. You, you literally failed on the most important covenant as a Christian man. Okay. You failed. 
and you're sitting here like, we're not going to answer this anymore. We, we're done. We covered it. It's all good. We're, we're saviors in need of, we're sinners in need of a savior. Uh, yeah. And then she was coerced or, bl or blackmailed or likely is in a loveless marriage now because she just has to stay together for the paycheck, right? There's so much wrong with this. There's so much wrong with spiritual gaslighting. With spirit, That's like spiritual abuse that happened to me at my church. If you want to go watch it, go watch it. So I have a five-part series on my church, and I'm going to be releasing more soon. I'm talking. I got people I'm talking to that are coming at me in my comments. That's going to be crazy. So um, it's nuts. The church, what the church world makes generally women endure. So women, not only are they second, you know, fiddle for to men all the time. They're relegated to only children's ministries a lot of times. Women are seen as second, like even in Mormon churches and fundamental Christian churches, women are just vessels for babies. Women have always gotten the short end of the stick at church. I can't believe women still go to church, okay? And in the end, when a, when a husband does something dirty like this, they're like, they're almost coerced, gaslighted into forgiving to moving on so they can have that win. Like God, they think it's a God win, but they're, they're projecting it onto themselves like they did this. Like, you know what I mean? It's not a God win. If you cheat on your wife, and then you, and then she forgives you. That's, you know, that's great. I get it. But that's not a win. The only winner there was you because you got away with it. Okay. And you let people down because you claim to be who you say you are. Things like this. And, um, this is what the atonement's all about. Forgiveness and second chances. And I just want to add to oh, thank guys, you. you know, I have forgiven Sam and I stand behind him. This is in our past and it's unfortunate that it's being dug up right now, but. Yeah, it's unfortunate for you. Nia, are you kidding me? Like, this, people judge people like Nia because they're like, why would you stay with a guy who, like, again, I, I, I like the idea of second chances and all that kind of stuff. I really do. I do. I do. I do. But man, this one just like, if he's willing to lie to you on that scale, then yeah, I do believe that they're willing to lie about the other things. And that he's dragged her into this web of deceit because of his, of his insatiable lust for fame out of his own words. You know, our marriage is worth And that's from his own mouth Fighting for, and it always will be And I just want to encourage you guys who are dealing with any kind of Situation like this within your marriage To just fight for what you have No, I'm going to give you some advice Okay If that's the point where your husband's got to a level Or your wife has got to a level where they're stepping out in you Leave You're all good to go That deceit to me is one of the biggest things I can't like if you're staying together for a paycheck or because you have kids and stuff like that, I can't, I can't justify it. Don't ever be in a place where you're unhappy. If someone decides to step out on you and he did that once likely in then YouTube fame, if you <laughs> do it again, if you can just as easily tell her to be like, Oh, forgive me because of grace. And she's like, okay, you don't think he's going to do that again. Marriage is the real deal and it's been sealed and it's worth fighting for. It always will be sealed. He broke the seal when he did the dirt. All right, and thank you guys yeah. so much for your support, the ones standing by us and believing. Typical. Thanks for the ones that stood by That's my first video, my first foray into Sam and Nia. This dumpster fire duo, okay, should not be vlogging. You should not give them your social media currency because they're the epitome of what's wrong with family vlogging. They have like 2 million, 2 point something million subscribers. They're doing videos. They let the, they let the, the reason why I bring up these these scandals is because they get forgotten and then they come back, which is why I'm going to bring, dig up the Shaytard scandal. I'm going to bring up all the scandals. I like bringing up the scandals because it shows the worst of the worst in family vloggers. It's not like I do believe that you can change. I do believe that there's redemption and all this stuff. But he it looks to me from my gut. This guy hasn't changed one bit from the first time that they lied about being pregnant and then the, the fake and the miscarriage to this moment now where he's just he's so cocky. And as gaslit his wife into believing that, like, this is the, this is how it rolls. I do not like the, the fake Christians. I think of all the ones, even over the Mormons, the fake Christian ones get me because I was immersed in that life. I drank the Kool-Aid for more than half of my life since I was 12. Okay. So many years I drank the Kool-Aid. So this stuff triggers me badly. And I've seen so many dirt. I've seen so much dirt done to people inside of a church. And I feel like she, they're just perpetuating that on Nia. And he's brought her into this web of lies because they have to for this and exploiting their children and this insatiable lust for fame. Okay. So this is why we don't follow these people. This is why we don't hold them up. This is why we don't listen to them. It's why they should not be influencers. And it's why you shouldn't listen to them at all when it comes to anything about faith. Okay. Look, if you're not a public figure and you mess up and you're a Christian, it's different. Here's the thing. Teachers quote unquote, are going to be judged way more harshly in the end because of 
the influence you had on people. That's literally going to be the scariest thing for a lot of pastors, a lot of Carl Lentz's, a lot of, you know, a lot of Hillsong, Joel Osteen's, a lot of Joel Houston's, a lot of Elevation pastors and Bethel pastors. Because you are such a public figure, you have a way higher standard set for yourself as a teacher of, of a, a representative of Christ. And when you mess that up, like wearing thousand dollar sneakers and cheating on your wife and doing shit like this, you will be held and judged way, you will be judged way more harshly than anybody else. And again, that's in the end, but you also will deserve to be judged way more harshly than everybody else because of your public platform. And that's why you're getting ratioed here, Sam. That's why I'm coming after you because you don't just get to say, well, I'm forgiven Bye. No, you're in a public figure, regardless. And if you don't want to be a public figure, step down. But if you're a public figure pro professing Jesus Christ on your platform at all levels, and then you mess up all the times and you exploit your kids. Nope. That's why I'm coming after you. So everybody follow me on Instagram. It's how my voice gets bigger. I'm so sick of these types of people. The more I dive into these frigging gross stories, the more I'm just like, ugh, it, it never gets better. There's no redeeming qualities anywhere. I found none. Never found a redeeming family vlog. If anything, the more I dig into all of them, the worse it gets. There's never one where I dug in and be like, hey, they're not so bad. There's some that I, I start out saying, hey, it's not so bad. And then I dig in and like, oh my God, like Jess Flam, okay? Like, 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 you're totally like awesome and stuff and like totally valuable and like I love you and like stuff like I hope you have an amazing day the hair everything it's hot in here because you're looking good like whew, it's hot actually just because it's hot I was wearing denim earlier so it's hot anyway guys please stick around for more videos and uh make sure you don't give these people your social media currency they don't deserve it they don't deserve you you're too good for them have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow